हेलो एवरी वन आई एम लोकेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू दी चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन दी प्रीवियस वीडियो वी विल सी दी प्रोग्रामिंग फंडामेंटल यूजिंग पाइथन पार्ट वन एम सी क्यू सीरीज इन दी प्रीवियस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस मोस्ट ऑफ दी सेक्शन दैट आर गिवन ऑन दी प्रोग्रामिंग फंडामेंटल यूजिंग पाइथन पार्ट वन सो दिस वीडियो इज बेसिकली ऑन दी पार्ट टू इन विच देर आर सो मैनी कंसेप्ट रिमेनिंग फॉर दैट आर गिवन इन दी पार्ट टू ऑन दी एन फी टी क्यू प्लेटफॉर्म एंड वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन ऑन द क्विज एंड देयर क्विज दैट आर प्रेजेंट ऑन दी एन फी टी क्यू प्लेटफॉर्म सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दी वीडियो एंड फ्रेंड्स मोस्ट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट आस्क मेक वीडियोज इन इंग्लिश सो आई विल मेक वीडियोज इन इंग्लिश सो इफ द रिस्पॉन्स इज गुड ऑन वीडियो सो आई विल कंटिन्यू इन इंग्लिश आफ्टर वर्ड आई टूवर्ड्स मूव टू दी हिंदी so friends let's start the video we will see the first mcq that is given in the variable and scopes section this is not uh, that uh, in the previous video i discussed the variable and operator section but this is variable and scope section you can see the question that uh, there is a variable result is equals to 0 so result value is equals to 0 and there is a function in which you can see you can see the two different variable num1 and num2 and there are the uh, condition that are given in the find some function so we want to evaluate and to check two condition that are given uh, present in the relation so there is a value 3 comma 4 so first let we will check this condition so this condition is this condition is num1 value is equals to 3 and num2 value is equals to 4 okay so friends that if num1 is not equals to num2 means 3 is not equals to 4 so uh, this condition is false so this block will not executed this block will executed else block so result is equals to 2 into num1 plus num2 so 2 into num1 plus num2 num1 plus num2 value is 4 plus 3 7 and 2 so 2 sevens are 14 so 14 here will be the answer is 14 and uh, let's check the another condition 5 comma 5 so 5 is equal 5 is less 5 uh, is not equals to 5 So five is equals to five. So result is equals to num one plus num two. So five plus five is equals to ten. But friends, you can see the correct answer like fourteen and ten, and you will choose this option. But but this option is not correct because this section is variable and scope. And you can see at the top of there is variable result is equals to zero, and this is global variable, and this can be used inside and outside the function. so this is a variable concept a global variable concept that are used in this code so correct answer is 0 0 let's move to the second question and uh, what is the correct answer correct answer is a 0 0 okay so let's move to the second question what is the second question there uh, there is another function in which you can see the list num there are the list uh, this is the list in which uh, there are the values 5 8 5 okay so we have a result sum variable and initialize with the zero it is also a variable and what is the actual work of scope that i already discussed in the previous video there is a loop for num in list num and it will be iterate when the list values end it so there is a result sum so result sum value is equals to zero and there is a plus assignment operator so what is the exact operator it will plus and then assign the values so first it will plus and the iterate value will plus in this sum and the sum will goes to the result sum so when uh, what is the value uh, where the value of result sum comes and after there is a new variable called result average so you need to add the value in this particular variable so result sum value divided by length of list num you need to find length of list num by easily function length list num and the value is finally printed to the result average and you need to print the result average that is given in the so friends the correct value is 6.0 you can code as usual the code run in idle and uh, there uh, this is the very simple concept of the variable and scope so friends uh, move to the next concept that is exception handling exception handling will uh, Tra exception handling uh, will find and catch you uh, find and catch you the errors that are generated 
एंड पाइथन विल जनरेट अ मैसेज इफ देयर इज एन एरर एंड देर आर द्री टाइप्स ऑफ ब्लॉग्स दैट आर गिवन इन द एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग ट्राई एक्सेप्ट एंड फाइनली सो वॉट इज द what is the actual work of try and accept because we have to solve most of the questions on try accept and this questions are asked in the previous exams also so what is the work of try try will try will uh, generate uh, try will not try will not handle the errors try will only check the errors that are generated uh, in the code so it will see the different uh, it will see and check the different errors that are that are arises in the program so accept will handle the error and print the result also so there is a uh, there is a function a divide and there is two value num1 and num2 so there is a try block in which you can see the num3 value new variable and num2 so we can evaluate this on paint brush and we, i will see the next value okay so what is the value so the value is num1 and num2 so num1 value is 100 and num2 value is 0 okay so friends what is the condition num1 and num2 so 100 divide by 100 so it is 100 itself and it will be stored in the num3 variable because there is a new variable called num3 and you need to print num3 but try block will not print the num3 value the print uh, try will only try will only see the error that are given in the program not printing itself so accept block will print the condition that are given because it will handle the errors that are generated so print block will be Uh, because try block will exit a uh, try block will be true or you can say that this condition is true so accept will print the inside function so the the print will be inside function and if this condition is false so this condition will be executed so correct answer is inside function let's move on to the next question that are uh, also uh, from uh, exception handling so what is the there are two different variable num1 value is equals to 100 and num2 variable is equals to 0 so there is a try block result is equals to num1 divided by num2 so 100 is divided 100 divided by 0 so what is the correct value 100 okay so try will not uh, try will not execute or try will not print the execute, execute actual result so accept block accept zero division error so there is a another block called accept zero division error and you need to print this self because it will handle the error and all the handle the error and print the result so what is the correct answer zero division error occurred so move to the next question that are all that are also from the exception handling this type of questions are someone uh, ask in the pro exam like there is a function division value 1 and value 2 there is a try block accept block accept value error finally and print and division so check the value the division what is the value of value 1 and value 2 so value 1 is equals to a this is a string generally or we can say that this is a character and value 2 is equals to 10 okay try will return int value comma 1 and value 2 so what it does it means value a is a string or character but it does not convert to the int uh, it will return the int so accept it accept type error so this condition is also accept type error print type error and uh, not it will not executed because this is not a type error what type of error that is given in the input what is a what the type of error this is given in the out uh, this is given in the code so a value is a character or a string so basically this is not a type error this is not a another error this is value error you can see the value error because there is a int in this in the between written so value cannot be converted a is not be converted into the int part so friends it will be converted but there is a error you can uh, we can find to check the error so friends a will convert not to int so what is the uh, ex, uh, what is the actual answer the actual answer is value error because it will uh, it will arises the value error and finally will not print the finally and print done because the friends this is a value error so uh, you can see you can see the 
After that, there is a value error finally and done. So what is the correct answer? Correct answer is A. So friends, let's move on to the next concept that is called recursion and recursion is very important function call by itself is known as recursion. It is very important concept that you already learned in the previous programming languages. So there is only one question given in the recursion section. So what is the question? What is the output of following code is nine? There is a function if number is not equal to two. Okay, so what is the value of number seven? Seven is uh, uh, sorry friends. This is not equals to sign. This is uh, less than or uh, less than sign. So number is less than two. Okay, so seven is less than two. This condition is false. Elif will executed. Elif will number is divided. Seven divided by two. Six point something like value. So it is not also equals to equals to two. So this will uh, this block will also not executed. The else part is executed. So you have to return number minus one. So what is the number seven seven minus one into function number minus one. So the correct answer is two forty. Friends, you evaluate the basic simple expression by calculating the sum one value okay so friends that is another concept called modules and packages and this condition uh, this concept is very important and this is last concept that we discussed in today's video so basically friends this is the modules and packages section in which you need to find there is a code and you need to fill the correct correct information or correct code here so friends this type of questions are asked generally in the exam you can see the ticket list additional uh, ticket list ticket list and uh, you have uh, you have a you have given a different function like a defined get ticket data function to return the ticket list these are the ticket list and this is the function that uh, have to return the ticket list so there is a three different uh, two different file that is given in the uh, section like uh, logic.py and menu.py that is third and what is the second and what is the second and what is the second file you need to use in this program and uh, so there is a function defined find passenger flight airline name and you need to choose correct two option that are given in the from the four so what is the exact value that is given in the so we will check from data from ticket data import get ticket data so you need to get ticket uh, you need to get ticket data also and from uh, ticket data import uh, where is the ticket data actually resides so uh, this resides in the get ticket data and uh, so uh, the first condition is true we will check the different condition that are given in the all mcq so what is the second condition so what is the second condition the second condition is get ticket data so the, uh, get ticket data is uh, correct or not because we need to we need to recite the ever uh, we need to recite the actual information that are given in the ticket data import get ticket so the uh, this is also correct and uh, uh, the last is airline name is equals to inter airline name number of passenger and print so from logic import find the passengers flight okay so this is also correct because you need to find the actual passengers flight there is a find passengers function that is given in this and you need to import all the information from into it so let's check the second condition this uh, will see the first and second uh, output is correct but third output is wrong because there is no find passenger flight and uh, if it is also and the uh, you can see the third option that is import ticket data okay it is right and ticket data uh, ticket data dot get ticket data you will also see that this correct uh, this is also correct option because there is a loop and there is a list also present in that and from uh, from logic import find passenger flight this option and this option is correct and this and this option is wrong so first and third is the correct answer of this question so friends uh, let's end the video and this is all about today's video in which we see the in which we will see the discuss mcq that are given in the programming fundamental using python part 2 so if you have any doubt you can simply ask on the comment section or just type on the telegram or just in the comment section or dm me on instagram for any doubt regarding nftq certification examination uh, if there if the response was good in this video so we will continue to in english not we will uh, also continue on hindi 
also so if you have any doubt just ask in the comment section i hope this video is useful thank you for joining us thank you